Here at Common Sense TV, we appreciate our friends at RI Future almost as much as we do Mr. Robert Kando, the embattled executive director of the RI Board of Elections. Or is it former ED this week? Uh, whatever. Between them, we've received so much food for humor that they may be the ones most responsible for the success of the phrase, are you kidding me? This week, Andrew Stewart of RI Future wrote a blog post castigating Motif Magazine for its lack of diversity in nominations for the publication's annual music awards. Listen, if you've never seen or read Motif, you really should do yourself a favor and bring up MotifRI.com. The magazine is a laid-back, informative guidebook to both culture and style as it is being played out around the Ocean State right now. If you're like me, and you're at that awkward age when you just don't make the club scene as much as you once did, Motif is a great way to stay abreast of what's happening. R.I. Future, on the other hand, is a guidebook to victimhood. It's all a capitalist plot. No. It's all a sexist plot. No. No. It's all a racist plot. Wait. No, no, no. It's probably a combination of all three. So with that as his editorial position, Mr. Stewart whined in his post that the nominations bore a, quote, resemblance to tapioca pudding, unquote. Hold on now. A music reviewer could be blind and still not be handicapped for his or her profession. And anyways, Motif led its introduction of this year's nominees with a detailed explanation of the process by which they were chosen. Booking agents at 85 local venues provided most of the input. Those in charge of playlists at 17 local radio stations and record labels supplied the next largest number of votes. Sure, the four editors at Motif acted as ombudsmen and tiebreakers, but this is a very transparent process that's clearly based on the sounds of the artists, not their gender or looks. To imply institutional sexism and racism on the part of a tiny staff of true believers in the quality of their message of modern culture is a bridge too far, even for R.I. Future. Do they now want the Affirmative Action Program to apply to free subculture tabloids? Really? Are you kidding me? Find us on Cox Channel 15 or Verizon Channel 34, Saturdays at 4 p.m. and Sundays at 10 a.m. Find us on the web at www.gaspyproject.com slash common sense ri. You can also find us on Facebook as Common Sense of Rhode Island and on Twitter at ampersand common sense ri.